guys, so as you guys can see from the title of this video, this is episode number one of this series. This is going to be a very, very long series. So stay tuned. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much for you know following, commenting, enjoying my stuff, and. David. Bye, Dylan. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck here in my skin. This press really means a lot to me. It really, really means a lot to me. I want this pro card bad, so I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Tell me it gets easier. Right now. So finishing up my 40 minutes right now. Burned 435 cows. Right, so we are back to prep deal. We got the haircut, the shaved face. I feel really, really good. The next prep has been so much harder than my last prep. Honestly, physically and mentally, just because I'm pushing that much harder. But yeah, just a reminder, man, that not every day is going to feel amazing, as when you have someone there telling you, you know, go, go, go. Alright, so we just pulled up to the airport a little bit ago and I'm eating meal one. So it's been about probably a little over an hour since I woke up. We're doing, so I think it's either 125 or 142 grams of rice, I forget what it is. Two eggs and I ha also have eight ounce of egg whites. So also just have a large iced coffee as well from this place called Caribou Coffee. And I think, yeah, I put like two splendors in here. So today pretty much all the meals have rice. It's just, that's the carb source. We're not doing any more protein powder. It's just um, all just super easily digestible rice. Um, and we just want to do that all the way through, make sure my digestion is solid. So yeah, we are at the airport. I don't have much to say right now because it is super early. Haven't had much of my coffee, but we have got here and yeah. <laughs> Intoxicating your kiss, intoxicating your lips Nobody does it like this, I find it hard to resist oh, oh. Feeling out of control, beautifully so, what's coming over me? It's a total eclipse of rationality Alright, we just pulled up to Dallas, Texas right now. We got the trusty cooler. So I'm about to whip out meal number two for the day. It's half an avocado, 142 grams of white rice, and then I also have six ounces of chicken breast as well. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for my second meal. Right here. Like a drug, I'd bottle you up if I could. Oh. 
What is going on, everybody? We just pulled up in Charleston right now. We are back in the East Coast humidity. I don't know, I'm feeling fucking good, man. My vibe is up. I'm excited to be here in Charleston. You know, I feel confident in the work that we've done this prep so far. So getting here, you know, it's just a blessing to be able to get this far, to be honest with you, because, you know, preps are grueling, man. They're tough, COVID, all these things. The show's happening, we're here. So yeah, I'm just excited, man, to continue my carb up. Today is, you know, the second day of carb up, which we're doing it very slowly. So it is, what's today, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll go a little more, Friday, a little more. Steve flies in tomorrow. So, you know, we'll be playing it by year, but uh, anyway, man, we're fucking here. We got palm trees over there, as you guys can see. We got a Dragon Ball Z shirt. We are waiting for our luggage right now. There was an apparent bomb threat here. So our flight had to like circle for a while, blah, blah, blah. We are here now waiting for luggage, which is taking a little longer because of that. And then, yeah, we're gonna head to the hotel, check in, and then I'll see you guys when we're over at the hotel. We gotta go get all our food. I'll show you guys all that stuff. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys a little bit. I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see. This is nothing can be a life, it might just have been a bad dream. You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me. You happy to be here? I'm so happy, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, man. I almost got murdered at the airport, but I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have that. The two hour flight turned into like a six hour flight, but we made it work. Okay. Smells good, at least. Yeah. Run down and like help you with your meal. Alright, so we just got to the room right now with Brandon. We got Nick behind the camera. Katrina just went downstairs to um, heat me up my meal because there actually is no microwaves in here. She's awesome, so she went down to go do that. Honestly, right now I just feel so run down, so tired because I barely really got to sleep at all last night. Um, I'm so fucking like depleted right now. And yeah, just tired, kind of feeling it right now heavily. But I feel like my condition is spot fucking on. So I'm really, really happy about that. And yeah, essentially what the goal is right now is to, yeah, have her come back up here. We're going to eat the meal and then we're going to go shopping. But also, I guess I can show you guys too some like how I'm looking right now. Let's see, conditioning. So, I honestly feel like it's like the tightest, driest that I've that I've looked at any point. So it's only gonna get better as the carbs keep coming in. So um, we'll just see how we keep evolving, man. I'm, I'm feeling good about Charleston. Hopefully it's the, I'll remember it as the place that I went pro. First thing on the list, we have spring mix right here. Boom, so we're gonna pick this up. All right, guys, we got, we have some almond butter right here. We have some honey. Uh, by the way, guys, I am tired as a fuck. Like I, I am so tired right now. So if I seem a little, uh, it's because I am fucking hair. Uh, all right, I need to get meat though. Grass fed, Winnie 937. Do I have it here? Okay, yes. Oh, that's a fuckload, bro. All right, so we are back from uh, Walmart. I'm a little bit back from the dead. I just got another meal. I'm sorry so far in this video. If I've been just, yeah, like a little down the dumps, I just feel like I want to entertain you guys and stuff, but it's just so tough. Like, yeah, man, like we, I brought a different level this year and I'm fucking tired. Like, I am depleted still. So like we're, we're slowly loading, but before, like when I don't have a meal in me, like I, I'm just disoriented. So, but we're gonna show you guys everything I got at Walmart, how I'm gonna be running ship here. So we're tanning here. I am uh, competing here, everything. It's so nice, cause this year I can do it all right here. I'm gonna be relaxed. You know, now that I actually have all my groceries besides a few things that we're gonna go get in a little bit, we'll probably bring the camera there. but. This is the bread and butter is what we got. So this is the grill, like the little griddle that I'm going to be using to cook. Um, I have my little station right here where I have my paper plates. I have spoons. I have, um, I think these are, yeah, forks. Um, I have my scale, obviously. We have this to cook the meats. I have this so I can cut meat. Um, I also got for, so we're going to snack into the show. Basically, we're planning on, like, I'll, I'll be adding rice cakes here and there. Um, in between meals or just, you know, on show day. I have almond butter. Um, I have honey as well. We have cashews. I have um, avocado spray. Also down here, 
This is, I have Rice Krispies because we're also going to potentially snack on these only on show day though. And then I have just bed sheets so that I don't, uh, when I get my tan, I don't fuck this bed up. Also, so in here, as you guys can see, sorry, we don't really know how to work the lighting <laughs> on this. Nick's not with us. I have eggs in here. I have a, a fuckload of chicken, um, beef, and I have spinach and egg whites. And then also later, if I can probably should put a light on myself, Nick, because we don't know how to use the camera. But later... In a little bit, we're gonna go grab salmon because the salmon at Walmart looked fucking gross. Disgusting. Gross. And we're gonna get rice that uh, is easily made and doesn't have any shit oils in it, which is hard to find, unfortunately, in America. <laughs> and uh, what else? And I need avocados. So that's all I need. And I have everything for um, Thursday, Friday, and show day, and we're ready to go. Where'd you get um, that shirt? I got the shirt at Walmart because I was cold and I didn't steal it. <laughs> Eggs cooking up on the little sketchy griddle. <laughs> it's working. I'm tired. I feel like crap, but three days for Charleston, man, it's, it feels surreal, so. I'm just here. So we just finished up the second to last workout, last cardio session of this entire prep. So yeah, excited about that. Um, Steve, if you guys don't know who it is, my coach, Mr. Bubbles, he's flying in. Uh, he should be here at like 5 p.m. tonight, so we'll probably run into him later just posing and stuff. Fucking annoying, loud V6 muscle. Shut the fuck up. But yeah, basically we have Kyle, my friend. Uh, he just flew in, Dave's flying in tomorrow, so. Yeah, we got a whole crew here, guys. I'm really, really excited. I'm about to go back to the hotel room right now. It's pretty monotonous at this point, just you know, eating meals, trying to keep my mind, you know, calm. Uh, you know, hitting some like some flow posing every like you know hour, and just kind of you know keep myself sharp. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. Just follow the plan, slowly carb up. Everything's going great. So yeah, I am gonna go back home right now. Eat. We're gonna split up with Brandon and Nick. And then we'll probably run back up with everyone later. So we're also going to go check the venue out as well. But uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit.
in the gym right now for the last workout of prep, day before the show. We got we tan later, everything like that. But right now we're just doing a little upper body pump again to keep the food moving and filling me up. So I'm just gonna get a little pump in. All right, so we're at the gym right now. We're doing like this last workout for Dylan. I'm not really trying to have him like work out as if it's like, you know, he's trying to break down muscle tissue. It's more so just moving the food around, making sure he's able to get a good pump, looking at certain things. Like right now, if you look at his rear delts, you see how it's starting to fill out. So we're just looking for little details. And um, just obviously, we're gonna work on his posing as well. But yeah, I just, posing. for me, it's just, I just want him to get the food moving around and making sure he's able to get a good pump. Because I remember last year, like, I remember last year, cause it, was all, it was our first prep, but I remember I didn't train Thursday and Friday yeah. um, before the show, and I felt like I didn't utilize the food as well. Yeah. And I feel like yesterday, I, you know, I, the filling up process has been, you know, as good as we could have ever wanted it. So, like, I feel like training really helped. Training the two days before the show, but obviously very light, just like you said, to it's push more the food detail. around. Like, it's more and so also to deplete that glycogen, you know what I mean? Because, like, if you're not depleting the glycogen, you don't have that as much to fill up. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, like on prep, the best days that you look, I always feel like for me, like, the best days I look, you know, if I train chest the day before, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I have a little card the next day I look good. Like, your chest feels Yeah, I don't feel better the day after an off day. You know? I think what, also a thing, too, is, like, what he's doing right now is almost like what he'll be doing backstage. Just getting a light pump right before he gets on stage, so... Pretty much the routine, probably this week, you've just been getting like a light pump, right? Yeah. So when he's backstage, it's, it's just going to be the same exact thing. It. But like, like earlier too week, much. Earlier in the probably, week? Probably a little too much, but then now, I mean, obviously yeah. dialed for it. Yeah, yeah. He's looking solid though. I'm excited to see how, you know, everything turns out. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Right there. You see, you see the difference how your shoulder's not slouched forward? Yeah, so like... Tilt your core slightly. Pull your hip in, yeah, and then bring that shoulder back. But then focus, focus on this right here. Right there. Alright, from there, tra transition to the back. Oh yeah, you're back in, man, man. Remember, chest up, chest up. You see, you see how that pops out? My goal is to make sure this pops when he's on stage. Cause like say say you don't bring your chest up, you just hit the regular back pose without. Well, you're filling out, so everything's actually coming out really good. <laughs> but um, <laughs> let me run you through some posing. So I'm gonna have you hit the front pose, and then I'll let. And then when you need a reset, I'll let you know when to hit that reset, okay. and then we'll go. So start off with the front pose. I think you always come in from the left. Right there. Hold that. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Smile. Now, if you need a reset, what are you gonna do? <laughs> do it one more time, but then now look up first and then smile, and then open up. There we go. Very good. All right, now transition to the back. Breathe out, breathe out. Chest up. Very good. Hold it, hold it. Back to the front. So say, say you're on this side now. I'm, I'm, I'm the head judge right here. You're on that side. How are you gonna hit the pose then? Just like that. Very good. Now, when you're on this side, transition to the back. 
Now from here, bring your right foot up a little bit. So you're here, right? I want you to kind of tilt for the back pose only. Okay, tilt so towards the head, head judge a little bit. Okay. So if you're, if you're all the way on this side, right? And say, say, say Kyle's the head judge. Instead of coming here, go like here. But then for the front pose, keep it yeah, here. Yeah, how it was. But for the back pose, face them because but why would it be on the side of this? Like, how does that? Because say, 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 the, say they call out the, the, the comparisons, right? You, you're not in the middle. Yeah. Right off the jump. Say, say you're all the way on that side or on this side. It's going to be random. Yeah. Because they're going to call your number out and then they just line you up. Yeah. So if you're on this side, I need you to know how to hit the post. So right. like, if I'm on this side. I, and, yeah. and, and say I'm the judge right here. Yeah. So you're all, on that, all the way on that I side. Try to go more heads on real quick. Face facing that way. And then now bring your shoulder this way. Right there. Right there. Yeah. What if I'm on this side? Let me see. It's mad awkward. <laughs> like, if I'm on this side, I'll have to look at the lines here. I mean. Let me see how it looks if you go directly heads on. Yeah, face this way. Face all the way. What do you mean? So if, if you're on this side, I would say. Kind of point your right foot directly that way, and then put this on this side, okay. to the side, and then face here. here. So I got like, like the lines there, like I'd be like. Yeah, 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 yes. I'll say even when you come out, don't, because you look like you kind of rush when you walk out. Good luck, man. I'll say when you walk out, don't rush, because it looks like you're going a little fast. Just come out, mellow, just like go slow. Like, yeah. like you're, you're better like present something that you've been working on. From so there. Like right when I walk out, like I don't have to keep it up the whole time, right? No, no, no. Just I would say you're out. I would say right here. Just come out. I'll, I usually go out there and I hit him with like this, like maybe I'm kind of like a powerful like yeah. I'm here, and then like just walk in there, posture up, and then so from right there. Here. But you want to like you you can walk, keep your posture up, and then look down and smile, like like you have something that you're about to that you're about to show. Like kind of like so come out. Like, like that. watch me do it. I'll usually come out like this, and I'll come like this. And then like I'll control the walk, not too fast, just enough. And then from there, yeah. hit this, then come up, serious face, then smile, then go into the pose. Okay, so like I'll load it up, probably come out like head up though, posture up. Yeah, Wait. posture up, but then like look down and smile. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like I'm, like so come out like and should I look when I come out or you can for 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 I'll say yeah you can look down like kind of like. Yeah, 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 just like that. And then from there. <laughs> what do you do for that next meal? What time is it? 11? Um, should I eat, what, 8? 11. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, realistically, it's good that, like, it, and I need, because I woke up early, so, like, literally right when I get back, I can eat. Okay, cool. And we have to launch that program. Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm going to launch yeah. a program right now at yeah, 12. Yeah. So. You excited? Yeah. It puts you right, man. Yeah, yeah. This, this grill gets you really. Steve was like, just cook the chicken. I'm like, bro, look at this. Look at this, man. That cooks better than the pan at home. It, it gets hot three times quick, literally four times quicker. A makeshift kitchen grill honestly cooks better than I do at home because I get to throw this Chinese rice, white rice, plain, on the griddle, get it nice and crunchy. And then, oh yeah, it cooks our chicken. Look at that. It's clean. It's a good idea. Like, <clears throat> if I have a bunch of pre made rice, I'm just going to start putting it like on a skillet. So I don't have to use a microwave. I can be a shaman like Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, is that funny? But, how is it? <laughs> right now, it tastes out of 10. How is it? It's a 10. A ten. Yeah. Usually. I'm about to launch this program right now. He's like, it tastes like victory. It tastes like victory, bro. <laughs> Fifteen minutes, DUP. I wonder who bought it right now. He's running it, that's watching this video. Somebody is.
I'm not allowed to run it, apparently. Shit, go 20 bucks. <laughs> you want 20 bucks? <laughs> it's only 20 damn bucks, man. You're right. Norm here, dude. Norm here. Yeah. <laughs> Four. Yeah, you're solid. Back boost? Yeah, your back came in really solid. Especially your lats. You can feel it. Can you feel your lats like yeah. hanging out? Yeah, I feel it definitely. The back pose, try to feel for your lats to hang and then sit into the pose after. Okay. And, then, and then lean back. Breathe out. Remember, sit into the lats and then going through pose. Right there, right there. Let me see you under this lighting, like how it was yesterday. They're all like... Oh yeah. I posted this like, basically because... Just I up. Like to like, leave the other dude, so I keep my top and I sit right into it. Yeah. Solid. What do you do for the next meal? Yeah, I think I'm gonna eat really soon because I'm gonna try to get to bed about like 7.30. I mean, I'm the earlier the better. True. I gotta get up at fucking 3.30. Hit it back double bicep real quick. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely way full of the period. Lean back, lean back. I feel like you could definitely be... The last meal you did 140, 142 grams and two rice cakes, right? No, I did. Well, no, because then I just did another meal, four. Okay, oh yeah. So, what did, what so that meal was just 142 rice, and I actually just did six ounces beef. Okay. You had three ounces of salmon chicken, but I just did six ounces of so beef. So six ounces of beef on 142 rice. Yeah, that was it. That's it? And then you have two meals left. Okay. I have one meal with, uh, I'll, I'm either going to do just salmon or just beef for that. Okay. Or just chicken. I don't want to, I don't want really to split I feel like you should do, I feel like salmon's light. You could digest salmon. I I'll say do salmon for this one, let your body kind of rest, and mm -hmm. then for the last meal we could probably do beef to, to hold you over on um, the night. Um, but so not, I'm not going to do eggs and rice, it's just beef for that. For the last meal? For meal six. Did you want to do eggs and egg whites? No, I'd rather do beef probably. Yeah. Alright, yeah, because I want, I, want, I want it to hold you over for the night, but let me, let me see what I have you doing for the next two meals. 75 grams rice for the next meal. Okay. I think I think that's solid, and then we'll determine meal six based on how you look. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to add anything. Yeah. You just like go for no reason. So, what time are you gonna eat that next meal? You think? What time is it right now? It's like four o'clock. Probably like what time? Like probably I should eat eat it like around or now. Or you eat, eat at five and then eat last meal at seven. Yeah. Because the thing is, I don't want you to eat your last meal too early because I want it to hold you over for the night. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I might even eat like, I'll, I'll probably eat in like 30 minutes and then I'll eat another, my, my next meal at 7. The last meal at 7? Mm -hmm. I'll just wait until 7 and then I'll eat that at 7 and then, I mean I could also do like, two, I could do like my last meal at 7 and then do like two rice cakes at like 8 maybe if you... Backwards. Lean back a little bit. Very solid. Back to the front. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Right here, I have meal five of the day. I just did four rice cakes with like 20 grams of almond butter before this. So this is kind of like one of the heaviest meals that I'm doing, honestly. Um, a lot of people carbs super super heavy, but we feel like we just kind of want to maintain this look that I have and I'm not flat So at all I'm filling out really nicely We very slowly start increasing it to keep my digestion on point and just you know Yeah, make sure everything goes slowly smoothly, you know We didn't need to do any crazy manipulation. So this is what these carb up meals look like. It's not burgers pancakes So we're gonna be pretty much doing this into the show. I have one more meal for meal six and then very similar to this meal without the rice cake tomorrow we're gonna wake up do a heavy meal really early at like 3 30 i'm gonna pick the camera up around that time probably be dead tired and then yeah i'm just gonna probably eat like one other little meal before the uh show and then snack in pre-judging starts at eight that which is the masters guys um i'm in class b so there's eight classes a through 
like G or H or something. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna be class B. I should get on stage around 9, 9.30. It's crazy because tomorrow at this time, what time is it, Brandon? So at this time tomorrow, I'll probably be getting on stage for finals. What's crazy, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat this meal, pretty much relax the rest of the night. Trained today, got some decent steps in to get the food kind of moving like we said earlier. And you know, yeah, it's just time to relax. Try to get to bed by like 7.30, 8.30. That'd be phenomenal. Get a good five to six hours of sleep. And then yeah, get up tomorrow and do how what you, we do. How you feeling? I feel good, I feel good mentally. I just, uh, I just feel like I have to focus on the little things that I need to do. Like eating my meals, just staying calm, keep my my mind busy with other things and just, you know, focusing on what I want to do up on that stage and that's really it. So yeah, I mean I'm I'm in a good spot, so we're just gonna relax the rest of the night. I have twelve more ounces of water or ten. We're cutting water. What time at six. He said after this. So I have ten more ounces of water and then cutting that water and that's pretty much gonna be that. So I'll see you guys bright and fucking early. So it is show day morning right now. It's currently a little bit before 4 a.m. Uh, I gotta go head downstairs to get my tan at, in like the next 15, 20 minutes, I just ate meal one. Woke up feeling very dry, very good. So I'll show you guys. So this is kind of where we're at with the first tan coat, which I'll let it get my second. All right guys, so this is where we stand right now, being the first day of this series. Shut it, baby. I'm currently eating pretty much one of the last meals before we get on stage. We're just sticking to the foods my body's used to digesting, playing the safe. We're gonna go out there and do what we can here to do. What is going on, guys? So, as you guys can see from the title of this video, this is episode number one of this series. This is gonna be a very, very long series. The show that I'm gonna be doing is called Team Universe. Benefits of living in Colorado, we get these beautiful views, and just because, you know, I like to just get my body moving. All right, guys, so we acquired an entire squat rack, a bench press, 395 pounds of weight, a curling bar, and I on Amazon, I just ordered um, a pull-up bar with a dip bar as well. My gym just closed down today for the next 30 days. I'm sure a lot of you where you live, that's the case. I'm still going on with this prep. Like, nothing happened, man. So yeah, we have everything pretty much fully set in the home gym. I mean, take a look. It's coming. I'm ready. We just gotta maintain this look. I put the work in. I got ready for the show, and so now I'm ready early. I'm in a great position to, you know, go into peak week and everything. So it just, yeah, it feels so fucking surreal to to be in this position, man. Going for my pro card. It's been so fucking long, and I'm like, but I've been thinking about this every fucking night, and just, you know, knowing that if I put the work in, I could, I can do it, and uh, all's that's left to do is to go execute today on that stage. Um, and that's what I plan on doing. So um, I'm gonna go show my best. I'm gonna go show everybody what I look like, how I stack up, and the end result is the end result. But I think we're gonna be really, really happy with it. So I'm really, really excited. And thank you guys so much for watching this journey, supporting me through this journey, man. It, it really, it means the world, so. I'm gonna go get locked in, listen to a little music, go down, get my uh, second coat of tan. I'm gonna go do the damn thing, baby. I just chill. He had like ten of them right in here. Just do a few. Get warm. Where are you? Let me give you some boost, please. person it looks more like you just look more like appealing like it just looks good yeah he's got it he's got it fuck yeah it looks really good
Very good. Let me see you under this lighting over here. Here you want to? Yeah. Obliques. There you go. Transition. Very good. Lot's definitely grown a lot. Yeah, you're way fuller compared to yesterday. Front pose one more time. Right there. Right there. You see you see how the lower part comes in? Like you see you want me to hang on this end? What do you mean? Like like just only focus squeeze there, like just just, just your whole entire left side of this. Yeah, yeah, like this. Right there. Right there. Yeah, I, I just say it so then you, you remember to do it. You're you're yeah. you're nailing yeah, yeah, yeah. it too. That's fine. The goal is to look your best today, and that's all that really matters. Yeah, so, yeah. Best of luck, bro. And get it done. <laughs> so when Dylan competed the first time, as much as I wanted to go to the show, I couldn't because I was somewhere else. I wasn't in the States, so I couldn't make it. And he won, which was, like, ridiculous. It was insane. And looking at his physique then, he looked off the charts. He looked, like, as good as he's ever looked. But now for a second show, he's literally on another level. He was this lean, muscular, fit guy for the first show, but now he's just a, like hyper-muscular, extraterrestrial, elite, genetic, giga-chad looking person, right? So it looks ridiculous. And I've never seen Steve compete on stage, Dylan Anthony, so this is the first person I'm actually seeing compete, and it's ridiculous. And if Dylan wins this show, he's gonna get his pro card, which is just the fact that me and him fucking worked out growing up together, and he had like dreams of becoming like a power lifter or a professional bodybuilder. The fact that this could happen right now is it's insane. <laughs> you want to say something to you? What's up, y'all? We're about to go watch Dylan collect this damn trophy, because that's all he's doing at this point. He's about to go up there just real quick, in and out. Bam, bam, give me the plastic. I'm out. And pro that's card, exactly send it in the mail. He's looking insane. I just competed in a pro show, and he is like the driest physique I've seen in a while. So I just walked here. Oh, God. <laughs> he's looking full today, too. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 NPC Universe Championships. Tonight, we are going to have finals for Men's Physique and name some new IFBB pros. idea that he was gonna do well but I didn't want to you know get so like oh my god like I, I didn't really want to think about the outcome but I knew like the potential was there so it was good to see kind of fold out so he looked like he was in the middle of the call out so it looks like he's gonna get his pro card but we'll see but I don't want to bank on it I, th I think he's gonna do well though so he's still bad. Get to really pull in for finals I'm so proud I screamed my little voice off I my, my you can probably hear me in all those clips I was I was like yeah babe I'm so proud of him. I want to cry. So yeah. It's that man of the show right here, guys. Man of the plan. <laughs> How you guys feeling? Dude, like I said, man, go up there, a couple shots, collect that trophy. It was when he, when he, okay, first, when they were coming out one by one, the first thing I saw of Dylan was his back, and I knew that he completely dominated from that aspect. Then when they all came out from the front, you saw that Dylan was from the side. Then Dylan got called to the center. And then they made a few other people switch around and Dylan stayed in the center. And then watching that smile, that smirk cross, go across his face was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Was, and was, like, yeah, he yeah, had it. Feeling. We know this it. He moment. knows it. Yeah, yeah, dude, this is the moment. This is what Dylan trained for. This is what we've been doing now for over 16 weeks. So he was ready for this moment. We were there screaming. I don't have a voice. So ready for this afternoon. Season, just because I did it the one time. As soon as I got back to that point, I felt like... I was like, okay, I was, I've been here, you know what I mean? I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. It was just, I felt horrifying. like I was nervous last night, and then today I woke up like super calm, and I, it was almost weird. I woke up calm, and as the day started going on, I almost felt more calm. And then when I like saw some people in the class, 
not that everyone didn't look great. I just felt like, okay, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. So how did you feel when you, because yeah, from what I've seen, when you came out, everyone did their back pose initially, and it was just, it was like unanimous. It was like hands down, you had it there. Then when you came out from the front, you were on the, all the way at the end. So how did well, you they, so they just, they just, they, they, yeah, that's right. completely yeah, randomized. Randomized. It means nothing, yeah, yeah. the point is, when you got called that center, mm -hmm. so then you stay that center, how did that feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just, think, I don't even know how, what I was feeling. I was just like, Fuck! I gotta hold this. I was, <laughs> and, and I also honestly thought that you heard me when I, said I also said. didn't think that was my whole class. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. Think, I didn't think that was my whole class. At all. It looked like he was there. But, uh, yeah. How are you feeling though? Are you, are you fucking yeah. now? I just feel relieved. That's when I yeah. yeah. sit yeah. down. It's only seconds. All right, guys. We just hopped off stage, man. I don't know how. I came here in what March, and it's now literally, March, literally yeah. November. And me and this guy have been through so much. Crazy. Hardest worker in the room, man. I, I can't believe he, it. He came, you came out with Moonface. Moonface. <laughs> I'm gonna play a clip of, of us like when I first came here. It's like just the change of this man. It's just crazy, man. I appreciate. I can't tell you guys. Literally, hardest worker in the room. Dylan is taking a slumber. We're about to get his donut. Super excited. So we can't wait. Yeah, and then I'm, finals night. I'm flying this uh, this FPV. You guys haven't seen this yet, but me and Dylan are finally getting to show you guys this. But yeah, stay tuned. This is a cinematic FPV drone, so yeah, stay tuned. All right, I ended finals. So in the center, they were moving some guys around me. So it looks like I won my class and can, and you know pretty solidified got my pro card. Now Steve and I, since the morning, have been kind of really game planning. You know, not like doing anything crazy. Uh, trying to keep me in peak shape so that when we go back for finals, if I do win my class, that I can, uh, I'm going to be battling in the overall against all the other overall winners. So top two in every class goes pro. As of right now, I'm in the number one spot. So I would still even have one spot to drop and still go pro. So I think that, yeah, I mean, I'm in a really good position. I don't want to, you, you know I mean? It didn't happen yet. I didn't get the medal yet. So I'm not going to, you know, I, I, I don't, we don't know exactly what happened, but that's what it looks to be. So um, in about, I'm, I have to go downstairs right now. Finals start at four. It's going to move really quick because it's basically just an award ceremony at that point where they call out the top five. We all, then they, you know, they, they say, you know, fifth place, fourth place, third place. Then they'll say like second place, I have to be pro first place. And then, you know, they'll call out all the overall guys. And then, um, we will all go out and battle for that overall, which is going to be fucking extremely tough. If I'm in that overall, I know there's, cause I'm, I mean, essentially there's five classes taller than me, one shorter. So there's a lot of big guys with big frames. So it's going to be interesting for me to see, you know, how those guys look. Uh, but either way, man, I mean, I'm ecstatic at the position that I'm in right now. So I'm going in confident, happy, excited for finals and we'll see what happens. So you guys will probably see in the next few clips. Obviously, as you can see, we got to the hotel. We fucking made it, man. We somehow made it. This is not a fun area, but it doesn't really matter because we're here for one reason. So. I'm that baby. Lucky 34. Surprise, though. Good job, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. 